Welcome to our daily Forex market analysis, and this is for trading on June the 12th, 2020. A quick disclaimer before we get started, this is for educational purposes only. Trading is a risky business, so please be careful with your money. As usual, we'll start off by taking a look at our calendar here. And in terms of, um, in terms of data, we didn't really have too much. Uh, the unemployment claims came in pretty much in line with expectations here. Overall, we are into risk off scenario now um, since the Fed meeting yesterday, which the market is taking in as more dovish than, um, than which, what one would have expected. So basically the Fed said that they're going to keep on making, um, the key, they're going to keep on putting money into the market. They are going to keep the interest rates down all the way to 2022. They're going to support the market as needed, uh, but at this point, uh, the markets are markets saw that statement as slightly dovish, and that started the sell-off. But then we are also seeing a rise in coronavirus cases in the U.S. So uh, Florida has had 8,000 new cases, and there have been about 2,500, I believe, new cases in Texas. Uh, so that is. Um, concerning that concerns the market and we are seeing the bit of a risk off mark uh, sentiment come into the market again after that huge rally that had that we've seen markets stock markets were above all-time highs which is a little bit insane because the economy is not quite there but the stock market um, was certainly very very optimistic so we may be seeing some profit uh, taking and we are also seeing some of that risk off environment uh, going on so people have been selling. Now let's take a look at what we have in terms of news here tomorrow. Uh, so GDP numbers for UK at this point expecting a, expecting a drop. Um, This one is expected because, of course, uh, the economy was closed. So GDP numbers are expected to drop on a monthly basis. Um, at this point, though, um, I would say negative numbers right now, if the number is substantially higher here, may have a higher negative uh, impact on the market here before we were seeing that negative negative numbers were being disregarded by the market and any of the positive numbers were having a greater impact we may be seeing a bit of a shift here now i i'm not sure at this point if the this sell off is the big sell off i think it may not be it may just be a bit of a pullback here in terms of the stock market so we'll have to keep an eye on it uh, so at this point i i believe the negative numbers will have a little bit bigger impact than what we have seen in the recent uh, in the recent weeks here. So we'll keep an eye on all these numbers here. Same if we see the bigger drop here, that will be negative for British pound. And also if we hear any kind of comments around Brexit negotiations uh, that are negative, uh, that means they're not making progress in negotiations, all of that will be will have a negative impact as well. So we'll keep an eye on that. Uh, so we have some, um, data out of us as well the important one here is consumer sentiment numbers now consumer sentiment numbers are expected to go to be higher because with the economy opening up consumers would be feeling a little bit more comfortable as well as because people would be going back to their jobs so i do expect this number to be positive now because the markets are dropping a uh, positive like if the number is in in line with expectations or slightly positive, it may not have a big impact. If it's uh, substantially positive, then that may have a positive impact on the market. But it, if the number is below expectation and misses by um, a fair bit, that will definitely have a negative impact on the markets right now because it will just add to the risk off environment that, that we are seeing right now. All right, so let's move on to the charts now. For euro here, we did see that price went into the resistance level here, wasn't able to break through, and now we have seen a drop here. So bias is bearish here. And in um, 
So let's take a look at a uh, quick look at one hour here. So we see that price went into the resistance and basically there's like a double top today and overall triple top here. That was a important support resistance level here as well. So we have seen a drop and now I would look for price to do a bit of a pullback and then a drop potentially. Uh, so bias here is to the downside. That's a fairly uh, big bearish candle close. So bias is bearish. Um, we have a bearish engulfing candle. So in this case, I am looking for a drop back into 1.1240. So bias here is bearish for euro dollar. Pound dollar here, this one yesterday, we were looking for a drop and we got that. So today as well, bias is bearish. I will look for a price to drop further. Now it has gone through this support. So one resistance is, um, the resistance uh, is done. So we are through it. Next target here is 1.2500. Oh, sorry, I may have forgotten to, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, 1.1240 is the target here. And for pound here, we're looking at 1.2500. And second target would be 1.2435. So bias here is bearish for pound dollar. Aussie dollar, this one is bearish as well. With the Australian dollar here, when the stock markets drop, Australian dollar tends to drop as well. So here, bias is bearish. And next target here for Aussie will be 0 0.6780 will be the first target. And then we're looking at 0 0.6680, but it may get stuck here at 0 0.6935 as well. So bias here is bearish for Aussie as well. New Zealand dollar, same thing here. We see price has dropped and we have a bearish engulfing candle close here. So bias is bearish. And next target here is 0 0.6370. And below that, we're looking at 0 0.6320. So bias here is bearish for New Zealand dollar as well. And in terms of a pullback, we may get a pullback into 0 0.6455 area or 0 0.6450. So bearish bias for New Zealand dollar. Dollar CAD here, huge move to the upside. Price is into resistance, so watch out for that. And part of the reason here, um, dollar CAD, the reason that dollar CAD has gone up so much uh, one reason is because US dollar was strong today with the safe haven flows with the risk off environment we see um, we see move into safe haven um, assets and currency so US dollar Japanese yen and Swiss franc did well today the second reason is because oil dropped so Canadian dollar um, drops when oil drops so here we are that's why we are seeing US dollar be stronger against the, U, the Canadian dollar so bias here is bullish now, just keep in mind, price is into resistance, so we may see a drop here before a continuation to the upside. So bias is bullish, and next target is 1.3720 for dollar CAD. Silver here, silver has dropped today, and this one is trading in line with the risk off environment. So we do have a bearish candle close, but See, this candle is very similar to this one. So be mindful of that. If it doesn't drop through the support level, it can become range bound here. For now though, it is looking bearish. We may see a pullback into 17.75 potentially, and then a drop from there. So bias is bearish. Um, again, with caution, because if it doesn't break through 17.45, it can get, uh, it can go back up. And once it crosses that level here, next target is 17.15. So bias here is bearish for silver. Gold here, this one is looking bearish as well. In this case, next target is into, uh, we are into support right now. So this is where price has reacted previously. So if it doesn't break through 17.20, this one can go back up. So keep that in mind. Now, next target here, once it breaks through the support will be 1708 um, and then 1700. 
but like I said, it is into uh, support level here. If it doesn't break through, watch out for price to go higher. Oil here, oil dropped today. Um, we see a bearish engulfing candle. It has broken through the support here. This one is looking bearish still. And in this case, the next target is 24, sorry, 34.85 and then 34.25. So bias is bearish here for oil. Copper here. Uh, copper looking bearish as well. We have a bearish engulfing candle close here. So I would look for price to drop further here. Um, prices into support. So just be careful with that one. If it doesn't um, drop through, again, it can go back up and price can become range bound here. But once we see price go through that level, next level is 2.48 and then 2.46. So bearish bias here for copper. Bitcoin here. Bitcoin, a sharp drop today. Bias is bearish here. And the next target here, Uh, would be the bottom of today's move here, which is 9040. Uh, and should price break through that, we have 8885. So for now, bearish bias for Bitcoin. S&P 500, a huge drop here, bigger than I had expected, uh, but bias is still bearish. And in this case, if we see a continuation in terms of um, growth in coronavirus cases, we're likely to see this one drop further as well. So at this point, we are in risk off environment, um, but it's not to say uh, that this will continue. That's why we have to be cautious because this may be a bit of a pullback before it goes higher. Um, however, what I would look for here, bias is to the downside here. I think we could get another day or two here. Uh, so in this case, I'm looking for a pullback into 3050 potentially, and then uh, move down into 2980 and then 2940. So bearish bias here for S&P 500. NASDAQ here, NASDAQ is also looking bearish, a huge drop here as well. And in this case, uh, watch out for a pullback back into 97.40. And we are into support, so keep an eye on that. If it doesn't break, we are looking at um, a further move to the upside. But next target here is 94.38. So bias is bearish for NASDAQ as well. Dow Jones here, this one is looking bearish as well. A big drop again, bigger than expected here but it is, um, it is what it is. This is what, um, what market is turning into now. 25,700 is a potential level for a pullback here. And we are into support. Again, we have to be careful because price can turn, but for now, bias is bearish. Next target here is 24,850. And then below that, we're looking at 24,650. So bias here is bearish for Dow Jones. DAX here, quite a big drop here. Um, and we haven't seen this big a drop since, um, since back here or back here. So this is quite, quite large. And um, right now, prices into resistance. So again, watch out for a pullback, but bearish bias next target is 12,000. And below that we're looking at 12,000 to 50. So bearish bias here for DAX as well. FTSE here, another big drop here. And in this case, um, Next, so prices into support, that's one, but next target is 58.80, and then we have 58.30. So bias is bearish here for FTSE as well. And we have Nikkei here. Nikkei, again, a huge drop in Nikkei. Um, all the stock markets are moving together at this point. 
I would watch out for a pullback into 22,120-ish area. And then next level here is 21,350. And should it continue below that, we're looking at 21,150. So bias here is uh, bearish here for Nikkei as well. All right, so we'll wrap it up here. Um, have a wonderful evening and I'll see you guys later.